second of three meetings uh, on the adoption of the bill. And at uh, this time, I'll turn it over to Ms. Black. This is the second of three public hearings on the village. Um, we'll be doing this presentation again next Wednesday morning at 8.30. Um, what is the millage? It is the tax rate levied by county for county purposes. It is the tax rate per $1,000 of assessed property value. And you determine it by dividing your budgeted tax revenues by your total digest, which is the value of the county, and subtracting any rollbacks. Um, the Taxpayer's Bill of Rights requires a rollback of the millage when there's significant net value added reassessment. You have to use a state mandated formula where you compute the tax increase from reassessments as a percentage. And if you do not roll your um, millage back to the computed millage, you have to advertise a tax increase as a percentage and hold three public hearings to set it. And that's what you're doing here today. Significant net value added reassessment. You calculate the millage equivalent of that reassessed value, and the difference between that and your last year's millage is your rollback millage. This applies to all um, existing real property. As an example, if you had net value added reassessment of $25 million, your current year digest was $1 billion, and your prior year millage was 9.56. The millage equivalent of that $25 million is 0.239 mills. So your rollback millage would be 9.321. If you left your millage at the current 9.56, you would have to advertise a tax increase of 2.56%, even though you didn't change the millage rate. The actual rollback calculation, the net value added reassessment is a negative 2.26 million. The digest is 2.9 billion, and the prior year millage was 9.553. So the millage equivalent of the net value added reassessment is a negative 0.007. Your rollback millage for 2014 would be 9.56. You're changing it to 10.56, so you have to advertise a 10.46% tax increase. formulas that we use to calculate millage. Your gross millage is your budgeted property tax and your budgeted local option sales tax and you divide those by your total digest and then to, com to compute your lost rollback you take your budgeted local option sales tax divide that by your total digest. The difference in those is the net millage rate. Just as a reminder on your sales tax um, of the seven cents that you pay, um, four cents goes to the state of Georgia. One cent is split between the county and the municipalities for supplies, which is for capital improvement. One cent goes to education supplies for the school systems for capital improvement. And one cent goes to local option sales tax, which again is split between the county and the municipalities, and it's used for property tax relief. See the millage calculation um, the prior year is included on that. At 100%, the digest is 2.9 billion. Um, your gross millage before rollbacks 14.269. With the lost rollback, that would be 10.145 mills. Um, generally, in the first year, there's a 95% collection rate. That's what we use for calculation um, purposes. So you would have a $2.7 billion digest, $41.1 million in um, budgeted taxes, or 14.902 gross millage. Once you apply the rollback, that's 10.56 mills. An example of this, we've calculated this for someone who lives inside the city of Valdosta and someone who lives in the unincorporated area on a $100,000 piece of property. The assessed value of that is $40,000 with the homestead ex exemption of $6,000. That leaves a net taxable base of $34,000.
for the tax calculations, the portion that goes to Lowndes County is 8.31 mills, which is $283, an increase of $34 from last year. The Industrial Authority receives $34, Parks and Recreation receives $43, um, county schools receives um, at 16.848 mills or $573. That is an increase of $72 from last year. The city of Valdosta, 6.106 mills is $208. That's an increase of $68 over last year. The city schools remain at 16.98, which is $577. And then the state of Georgia receives about $5. So if you were a resident of the city of Valdosta with this $100,000 piece of property, your estimated tax is $1,149, which is an increase of $102. And if you are a resident in the unincorporated area, that is $943, an increase of $106 from last year. Um, next two slides are a breakdown of where every dollar of property tax paid goes. Um, if you're inside the city of Valdosta, for every dollar you pay, 55 cents goes to the school system, 13 cents goes to the city of Valdosta, and 24 cents goes to Lambs County. If you are in the unincorporated area, for every dollar that you pay, 61 cents goes to the school board, and 30 cents goes to Lowndes County. Um, if you look at your millage history, this represents the countywide millage over the last um, 10 years. The portion at gray that has the numbers called out on it is the portion that goes to Lowndes County. Um, you'll see the high there of 8.86 in 2005 and 2006. Last year was 7.303 and this year it's 8.31. Okay. Thank you very much for that presentation. It's also I understand that this presentation will be available on the county's website. Commissioner, do we have any questions for Ms. Blight? I do have a comment. Um, I did not think about it this morning, but I think a slide that would be helpful in here too would be also to show Stephanie, you created one during the budget process showing the different entities that the millage from the county side goes to support all the elected officials and all the other entities that it goes to support. I think that would be of interest to, to add into this if the chairman feels that way. I have no <laughs> So, but I, I think it would help you know citizens to understand where all that goes. It doesn't just stay in public works or engineering or something like that. Any other questions? Yes. <clears throat> um, as, I so, as I told you all this morning, I think it's, uh, it's really interesting that you know, out of all those uh, the entities receiving uh, additional funds for the millage, you know, we as a county are asking for roughly one third, everyone else two thirds. And it's, it's almost at times seem like everyone else gets a pass. Um, but I just wanted to know specifically, uh, Stephanie, um, are there any, any, any type of Indications of an increase in our digest. Uh, you know, I have to talk to the tax folks and everything. Um, let me back up here. Um, the digest last year was 2.9. Um, it is about five million dollars more this year. Um, but once you break that down, it, it's not a significant amount of difference. In, in once you break that down. Okay. <clears throat> Any other questions? Okay. At this time, uh, is there any